So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once we're on this, we're going to click on any service and click on N on our keyboard, which will take us down to all the NVIDIA services. You want to make sure that all of them are running. So you want to double click on the first one, NVIDIA Display Container. Make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will make the service running. Repeat that for the other two ones right here. Then once you do that, you want to right click on it and then click on restart. You also want to restart the other two NVIDIA services. Now for the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in GeForce Experience. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to head over to the drivers tab and then you want to make sure your graphics driver has been fully updated. Click on check for updates and it'll check it for you. If you have any updates, then do the update. You also want to head over to settings and then you want to turn off in-game overlay and then turn it back on and see if that works. Now after completing these two steps, it should be working now. But if it's still not working, then you want to head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to scroll down until we find NVIDIA GeForce Experience. You want to click on the three dots and then click on uninstall and then uninstall it. Once you uninstall it, you want to reinstall it again and then restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 